they've actually lost our trekking poles. Been struggling a little bit mentally. I've quit the trail. They've actually lost our trekking poles. Don't even know if they left Glasgow or if they're stuck in Holland or what, but yeah, should have came through that door there. Right, we are in Grenoble, on our way to the decathlon, buy some poles, tent pegs, and we need to get something to eat, because I am starving. Here we go troops, decathlon. Speed locks, 45 euro, cork candles, an extra 5 euro for these bad boys. And the cheaper end of the scale. So I stick my poles, getting the same ones as Stripe 8. Excellent. Gonna be about 90, nearly 100 euros, but that is what it is. These are too heavy. So the choice is, we've got these ones, 10 euro for the Shepherd Hook style ones, 8 euro. That's not enough, but two packs of these are. Uh, what are you going for? Is this square ones? This ones? I Which ones as are, well? Uh, they're, uh, ones. they're more stable, they don't bend as easy. No, definitely not. Are these bad boys? Uh, you, you can have this one. <laughs> Whatever this is. And you need a hammer. Oh yeah, definitely. Right, we have arrived at the start of the GR54. I am Hank Marvin. So first things first, get a supermarket and decide if we're going to make a small dent in the trail tonight. Well, fed and watered folks, that's us officially started the GR54. It has just gone five o'clock, so we're not going to get too far tonight. I just want to make a small dent into this hike to make tomorrow just a little bit easier. Well, the hiker app is out of date because there's a deviation. It's took us down a little road and now we head up here. We are basically following the little Poland flags. I've just reached 915 metres, which is just over Munro status, and still the mountains tower above us. That, folks, is not a mirage. That is some nice, cool water. Oh. Yeah, dancer. Oh. I'm roasting. And that's all water I've got left. Right, after a well in break, we are back on the go. What's the time? 7 o'clock? Um, it is 7.30. So 7.30, 30. so we've seen a picnic area, which is about just under a kilometre to go. If it's nice and flat, we'll pitch there for the night. Yeah, so we're just debating whether or not we should stop here for the night. We've got the table for cooking on. It's not the flattest, we don't have a view despite being 980 metres up, but that'll do. Right, this is my first wild camp on foreign land, unless Wales counts. Ta -da! You need to excuse the noisy waterfall here. I'll just show you though. It's a nice situation. Spring, but I, I don't have a... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't have a... I bought some Thai um, cable tie. So this morning we left Stripey's at 4 o'clock in the morning. 
we caught a flight to Amsterdam, then we got a connecting flight to Lyon, then we got the flick bus 777 to, oh god, where was it again, Grenoble, and then from Grenoble we picked up the 55 down to Le Bourg de Ossin, Ossin, I think you pronounce it. So anyways, uh, yeah, it's been a long day, so I'm going to sign out for now, and I'll catch you guys in the morning. Cheers. Good morning, campers. It's quarter past six. We're pretty much packed and ready to go. Try and beat some of this heat today and get a first two, three hours. It's not so hot. Ready to go, lads? Good luck. Let's go. Twelve hundred meters, and still not above this tree line yet. I'm looking forward to seeing the views. Oh, there goes the poles. So we are currently at La Font du Loup, which is one thousand three hundred fifty-two meters, which is higher than Ben Nevis. But in the meantime, we're going to still keep following the little Poland flags. In fact, I think that's us for the duration. We've reached a little hamlet called. The Chalard. Do you know I kick myself for not sticking in at French at school. Honestly, young Robin was a donut. <laughs> well, that is the first view of the mountains. Not too shabby. Well, that's it, folks. That's the end of the road section. We now head through this little hamlet up onto the hillside. The restaurant is closed, which is a shame. I was looking forward to a nice cold Coca-Cola. Ah well, we shall push on. I'm hoping this is not a mirage, but that looks like little parasols for a cafe. Oh yes, please, please be open, please be open. There it is, just over there. Come on, be open. Cheers. Cheers. And yes, Robin and me, we couldn't wait for Andy. <laughs> He's still walking. But French omelette, get in my belly. I needed that, I tell you that. Fed and watered, ready for this big descent coming up soon. But yeah, those omelets, mmm. These chickens were out the back as well. So yeah, nice little find. So let's carry on. Some of the locals. Convenient toilet at the top of the pass. And he's already away. That's a long descent now, about to begin. What goes up must come down. You've got to love the little switchbacks, the dog legs, whatever you want to call them. There's the big boys coming out to play and then 
our descent way down there. That was a well earned break folks. Soaked this in water, nice and cool, washed my feet, topped up the water, a little bit of food, now we're ready to go. So our aim today now is there's a town called Bessie. It's a campsite just up the road. So we could stay there, maybe get a shower, or we can push on and camp up at the call or camp a little bit just between the call and Bessie. We'll see, because um, it's only 20 past two and uh, we've got a bit of time left, so yeah. But this is the current situation, folks. Bessie, that's the next major town. Two kilometers to go. Bonjour. Well, this looks fun. We are heading up here. Just crossed the road there. I'm going to shelter under this tree. I'm going to wait in Stripey and Andy to catch up. Oh my god. Woo! Yes, it's hot. The temperatures are late 20s, early 30s. So uh, even at 1400 metres as well. No use to this as a Peely Wally Scottish laddie. My back is like a fishmonger's window. Jeez. It's just gone four o'clock, folks. We have just reached the village of Bessie. We're going to stop here for a bit, stock up in some items, and then look at our options. There's a campsite 1600 metres away in distance, so we might go for that. I think we want to push on just that little bit more, if possible. Decision made, folks. We're going to trek on up to the plateau. Should take us no more than two hours, hopefully. But uh, there's not much water, so we have camelled up and I'm carrying about three litres. <sighs> yes, folks, made it 1,902 metres of altitude at the Col Nazi. Ta-da! There we go, folks. 1,902 metres. This could be my highest well camp to date. The tent is up. Get in there. I'll just show you the view. Hopefully you can see all those sheep that are heading our way now. Noisy with their bells. Stripey and Andy are just down there, not far away. <laughs> I had a funny feeling they'd be coming over here. And they're spreading the dust right over my dinner. Wee oui, wee, oui, show show, wee oui, wee, oui, show show show. Cheers guys, thanks for the dust. Good morning campers, it is half five, I got up at quarter to five, you can see Stripey and Andy are just getting ready as well, just down the hill there. Uh, 
plan is is to get away for six, beat the heat once again. So uh, I'll bring you back once it's a little bit lighter. Well, there's first light on the mountains. I was camped just down here. Right, I've almost reached the top of the call that I've been presented with a new mountain range. I'll swing the camera around. Super boss. And first sun of the day just peaked up. I think these are um, sheep guard dogs. Possibly from the wolves, I don't know. Well, this is a nice, easy stretch just to enjoy. It's got a feeling of isolation as well, which is nice. How is that for a vista, folks? Super boss. Decent. So it's a long descent now, we are heading for two different villages. First one, I'm just going to pronounce them how they look on the map. Les Chazelais and then Les Tresses. I'm not sure to pronounce the S on the end there. And then um, La Grave. So hopefully we'll stock up with some food for the next leg. Oh, these dog legs get tiresome quickly. But it's going to be the theme of the trip because there's a lot of ups and downs. But anyways, we're near the, the first village of the day. There we go. Busy, busy. It is of course Saturday, so seen lots of people today. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. Well, apart from a creperie, I love crepes. <laughs> there wasn't much else in that village, so we are trekking on. I, I can test it. Let's walk the plank. Woofed. Jeez Louise. What a viewing platform. That's where we came down from earlier. If I swing round, you see the town we're going to. Why did the chicken cross the road? Go me guy. You going? Go! Go! Wee wee wee! It is quarter to one. We're heading to La Grave and it is absolutely roasting. Bonjour. Bonjour. And uh, stopped off in that village there. 
they're always lucky. There's a water fountain or a font in all the hilltop villages. Just topped up in water. Got a hydration tablet. Bonjour. Bonjour. And uh, just pushing on. Well, folks, it's quarter to three. I've had a bit of an extended break here in La Grave. Stocked up in food, nursed a beer, and now we're back on track. I think we're going to trek on a few more kilometres, see where we end up tonight. Bit of landslide damage here. I must admit, folks, you don't quite see this force in Scotland unless the rivers are in spate. But this is really impressive. And then we've got a, a rickety bridge to cross now. That is proper river rapids, folks. Not even in spate condition. We just need uh, Kevin Bacon in Merrill Street. How bad's that film, by the way? <laughs> anyway, we shall push on. Good pictures over there, by the way. Cheers, guys. Cheers. So we've reached this campsite, but there's no room for us. It's fully booked, but they sell beer. So every cloud and all that just means we're going to have to trek on. Well, we're just reaching the end of the road. From here, it's hikers only, and this would be a perfect place to hopefully find a pitch, get a water source, get some scran on the go, maybe wash this smelly sun hoodie as well. It's a bit Abraham Lincoln. But yeah, it's looking promising. And the mountains are towering above us here as well, so it's a, it's a nice situation. Quarter past seven folks, we're pretty much pitched, it's not ideal at all, you can see there, it's just, we'd be sleeping on this fine slate, just wedged in between boulders as much as possible, this is the fun of backpacking I suppose, Stripey is already up, and Andy is just getting his tent out now, I'm famished though so, I'm going to have to try and find some water without going all the way out there Because look at the storm damage by the way For what I've read, this was just earlier this year That is incredible Can you imagine that at full force? Just water everywhere Food wise I've had to actually think out the box I've not been using freeze dry meals at all But my diet's been atrocious so I've tried to improve it a little bit today So This here is leftovers from the other night, some tomato soup for my main. I'm going to boil up some pasta, I'm going to top up with some puree, and I'm going to sprinkle some of this cheese that I picked up in the campsite earlier on. So that should keep me going because I just feel as though I've not ate enough. I've also picked up some protein, looks like nuts and raisins, another nuts and raisins mix, and I've got some porridge for the morning. And I'm going to put some banana in that. So yeah, I just feel that's a bit more substantial because this morning I really was struggling, honestly. I felt a bit weak and just like couldn't get my groove on.
Well folks, it's just gone nine o'clock. I'm fed, I'm watered, I'm in bed. It's been a long day. We've done 52 kilometers in the last two and a bit days. We're all happy with that so far. Good progress, all considering with the heat. But anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up for today. I'll see you guys in the morning. Cheers. Ah, uh, good morning campers. Welcome to day number three of the GR54. Not long up. Stripey and Andy are just ahead. I stopped to do a little bit of Pilates. I was feeling a wee tad stiff. And uh, it certainly helped old hip. And now we're back on the go. I'm now only beginning to really appreciate the scale of the place. I'm just shy at 2,000 meters at the moment. Yeah, these guys are all still towering above me. It's just, uh, scenery is really starting to capture me now. The first couple of days I was like, meh, but no, this is fantastic. turn a corner and yet another mountain appears and I've seen a couple of marmots as well as soon as you try and photograph them they disappear in their burrow though just watching one run away just now well I've covered about six kilometers I'm now in the sun what I've done is I took a breather waiting on Stripey and Andy to catch up I freshened myself up in the stream, changed his scants, changed his socks, swapped over from the Darn Tough, which have been absolutely fantastic, no blisters, really comfortable. I've now got a pair of Merino uh, Quarter Crew Bridgedale socks, so I hope they do not blister, because the Darn Tough ones have been spot on. Right, we're back on the move, folks. Andy and Stripey have just leapfrogged me, but I can see they're just ahead, so. Admiring the cattle. Oh, I really do not want to walk between these two cows. I think I'll be alright. Mind them own business. Da -da 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 -da. We've got a bit of a amphitheater going on behind me. Check this out. We have reached the top of the call, call the arson. My rucksack has developed a squeak, just ever slightly so annoying. I'm a wuss, that is freezing. Well, after an extended break, that's just pushing on. But look at this, this is a wild swimmer's paradise. It's something else. Superb. This is quite a long descent, but I shouldn't complain too much. It's a decent gradient, just for getting some easy miles under the belt. But uh, yeah, the scenery is good as well. I'll flip it round. Yeah, folks, I spoke too soon. Just after saying that about the easy descent, we got the switchbacks. 
it was a slow descent down to this beautiful spot here. This is stunning. Super box. This woodland section is most welcome. It's half twelve and the sun is beating down. Well, it's gone half one. We find ourselves in another village. Looking for a shop again. Just got a couple of bits and bobs. Yeah, we're just aiming for the next shop. Oh, jeez, folks. This heat is getting a bit much. Don't know how much I can cope with this. Another what, six, seven days of this. This would be too much to ask just for a bit overcast for a while. <laughs> I'm at 1500 metres altitude here. If you're at 1500 metres in Scotland, you'd have your cagoule on. Wrapped up. But no, this is the south of France. Train spot anybody? Oh, it stinks in here. <laughs> How could such a quaint town have such a rank toilet? I do not know. Right, so the one bonus is we're going to hit the woods up through here somewhere, come out up on the ridge. Oh my god. The road section is over. We're on this hill path in the woods. The bonus is, it's sheltered and a little bit cooler. I'm not going to be marching up this anyway. All that scran did help. Lifted the spirits. Just had a very good old feast in the town square before going into that awful toilet. Anyway, there's not going to be much interest here. So I'm just going to crack on, guys. Digs for the night? <laughs> Probably not. This would be a perfect place to camp, but it's only 20 to 5, just a wee bit too early. There's some miles left in his legs for tonight. <sighs> Look at my peak. It's all skew with because it's been crushed in the rucksack. Oh, guys, I am goosed. The tent is up. I am shattered. <sighs> really running empty. There was one good pitch down there. There was a young couple there. Obviously, we're not going to encroach on them. So, Stripey and Andrew are just over there. It's nice and flat, but it was quite stony. I'm literally on the path. I really don't care. Honestly, this is a tough gig. <laughs> but we're almost at the halfway point. We will hit halfway tomorrow. But I'm going to rustle up some dinner. I don't know if I'll speak again tonight. If I don't, obviously you'll see me in the morning going, good morning, campers. Hey, catch you later. Good morning, campers. Is this day four, I think? There you go, first light on the mountains. One of the guard dogs just approached me there. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was like, I'm just going to slowly walk past you. <laughs> the dog was fine. I'm not a lynx. 
Wasn't feeling too great this morning, so uh, just I'm going to have my breakfast now because I am starving. Just some porridge oats that I bought the other day. Yeah, Stripey and I have had a couple of little minor disagreements. You know, nothing major, but obviously uh, these things can fester if you don't uh, just get over it. So <laughs> it's just really stupid. But yeah, I guess we've only really hiked together about three, four times, just an occasional overnight or so. Doing stuff like this certainly tests friendships when you don't know each other that well. Well, Andy, he's so down to earth and laid back, he's totally cool. Pitch for tonight, folks. Not on the mountain top, you probably guessed. Good morning, campers. Well, if you didn't see my Instagram post, I've um, quit the trail. I left Andy and Stripey yesterday in a town called Valois, which is roughly halfway, which is a shame, but I was just struggling with the heat, just covered in sweat, you know, covering up, factor 50, all that. Just wasn't enjoying it at all. Always felt a wee bit nauseous, just couldn't get into it. And my heart and my head says, nah, just come off it. So yeah, I quit. And I'm uh, now just heading to the bus station. I'm in a, a town called uh, Briasson. I'm gonna catch the number 55 to Grenoble. Then I'm gonna stay in a hotel, hopefully. Find somewhere cheap, fingers crossed. And then uh, tomorrow I catch the X777 back to Leon Airport, where I'll fly home to Edinburgh. So uh, yeah, it's one of these things. I don't like admitting defeat, but sometimes you have to. Anyway, that's my phone ringing, so I'm gonna wrap this up and I'll catch you next one. Cheers.